Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about assignment operator. What is assignment operator? It is used to assign the values to a variable. For example, e equal to 10. Here, equal to is the assignment operator which assigns the value 10 to a variable a. We have already completed this concept in Python variable tutorials. Please glance it once. Then with the help of assignment operator, we can create the augmented assignment operator. What it means? This combines the assignment operator with other logical operators like addition, multiplication to create the shortcut statement. Here you can see list of augmented assignment operators. This is how we create the shortcut statement. Let's see with an example so that you will get more clarity. This is a simple expression i equal to 1 is the assignment operator then I am creating i equal to i plus 1 during execution 1 will be added to this expression so we will get the output i equal to 2 the value is 2 this is the simple expression same example let me write it using augmented way I use the variable j equal to 1 then instead of writing j equal to j plus 1 what we can do is j plus equal to 1 and this is a shortcut way which is literally equal to j is equal to j plus 1 it is incrementing the statement by 1 just run it so the same way what happened is the value is j is equal to 1 plus 1 j equal to 2 similarly created the shortcut statement for other arithmetic operations we have already completed the arithmetic operator i just glance at once in previous videos in the third example k equal to 1 k minus 2 equal to 2 which is nothing but k is equal to k minus 2 which is decrementing the statement by minus 2 just guess what will be the output k equal to 1 minus 2 we will get the output minus 1 then for multiplication assignment m equal to 2 instead of m equal to m into 2 we can write m star equal to 2 so the output will be m equal to 2 into 2 4 then of division same way n equal to single slash equal to 2 so n equal to 5 by 2 which is nothing but 2.5 if we mention single slash you will get the decimal points value if we mention double slash we will get only the output 2 we will not get the decimal points then for remainder assignment percentage equal to we can also say this as a modulus operator q is equal to 5 percentage 2 when you divide that remainder will be 1 and the exponential assignment when you mention double star it is an exponential operator then equal to this means r equal to r star star 2 so r equal to 3 power 2 3 into 3 9 we'll run and see we got the output for addition it is 2 for the subtraction it is minus 1 for multiplication 2 into 2 it is 4 then float division 2.5 integer it is not displaying the decimal points then the remainder is 1 and exponential 3 into 3 equal to 9 hope you got an idea how to create the shortcut statement the next one is bitwise operator bitwise operators are used to compare the binary numbers it works based on comparing bit by bit we have six bitwise operator before we see an example a small concept whenever you mention any number this we say it as a decimal number 17 20 30 it can be any number if you want to change a number to a binary number this example 17 is divided by 2 so 2 8s are 16 you know the remainder will be 1 2 4s are 8 the remainder is 0 2 2s are 4 the remainder is 0 then 2 1s are 2 if you write in this way 1 triple zero one. this is the binary number for 17 bitwise operator first we have to convert the decimal numbers to the binary numbers and then do the comparison you don't need to do this every time because we have readily available method what you have to do is just two example a equal to 17 and b equal to 10 the syntax is here 
0 8 b this will convert to the binary of 8 digit number now I will run and show it see here the 17 is converted to binary number of 8 digit this is equivalent to here 1 triple zero 1 1 triple zero 1 and for 10 it is triple zero 1 0 1 0 so the first concept is how to convert the numbers to binary is completed now we will see each example the first one is binary and we are doing the bitwise comparison between 17 and 10 bitwise binary and you will get 1 if both are 1 if not it is 0 totally we will have 8 zeros because there is no 1 1 comparison so the output will be 0 the next one is binary R and this will set the bit to 1 if any one of the two bits is 1 in this condition comparison between 1 and 0 is 1 then 1 0 1 1 we will run and see the binary number of this one is equivalent to 27 we will confirm whether this output is correct or not just copy and we have readily available this website which I will mention in the video description just paste it here and cut, click on convert so the equivalent decimal number is 27 if you want to learn this concept you can scroll down how the conversion happen is 1 into 2 power 0 then 1 into 2 power 1 0 into 2 power 2 1 into 2 power 3 when you do the summation you will get the output 27 third one is binary xr which sets the bit to 1 if any one of two bit is 1 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 once again the output will be 27 the next one is binary once complement we can mention symbol like this exact variable the a means it is 17 first this will convert to binary number 0001001 then this will invert 0 to 1 1 to 0 like that In this case it will be 11101110 if you want what is an output for this it is minus 18 if you run you should get minus 18 then binary right shift the right shift will be double greater than symbol we know the value a is this value now it will shift to position to the right then truncate the last two digit and uh, the value will be like this the output will be 4 and uh, left shift which we can mention double less than symbol here adding two value and truncating the first two values answer is 68 just run it you'll get the value 4 and 68 hope you got an idea about these two operators that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning